Welcome to stretching session number three. We start by opening our shoulders, uh, pushing our chest down to the ground. And uh, if you are so flexible that uh, you cannot reach your end of range of motion in your shoulders in this position, you can put your hands on the couch or another elevated surface so that you can uh, push deeper with your chest and open your shoulders even more. Then we do the other side, the shoulder extension. So try to open at least uh, 90 degrees. So for example, here you see the angle between my shoulders and my torso is something like 120 degrees, maybe. Um, try to get at least 90. If you're not stretching, you're wasting time, remember. Then we go into the hip stretch. This time we do the figure of four. So you put uh, your ankle over one knee and then you reach uh, with one arm to the side and one arm in the hole formed by your legs. And then you pull towards your body, uh, switch side. You pull towards your body and you should feel a stretch in your butt. Next one is the stretch for the hamstrings. This time we do the good morning stretch. So it's like the standing bike stretch. Instead, uh, this time we have one leg forward and that allows us to put more, uh, to put more weight on the hamstrings of the leg that's forward to uh, stretch even more. And like the standing pike stretch, keep your back flat because we're not uh, stretching the back here. We're bending at the hips to stretch the back of our legs. And switch side. You can go a little from side to side. Practice the breathing. Each breath out, you try to go a little deeper. And then after some time, you can even pull yourself by pulling on your leg uh, to go even deeper. Then we're doing the stretch for the quads, the front of our thighs. So you try to lean back as far as possible. You don't necessarily have to go all the way to the ground, it depends on your level of flexibility. But you have to go as far as you can. Now we go into the splits, starting with the front split. Uh, we're showing uh, two variations there. Uh, if you're comfortable just doing the full front split, you do like Master Imari. And if not, you do like I'm showing. So it's basically just a, a deep lunge. Uh, and then you Try to stay balanced like that and 
over time you try to push your front foot more and more forward like I just showed now so you keep this lunge position you keep your chest up uh, if you have something to hold down to to facilitate the balancing part uh, that's good too you don't necessarily have to balance like that and you try to push your front foot more and more forward to open your legs okay. switch side So it might be easier to relax if you're uh, not trying to balance actually. So if you're in a position where you can relax into the stretch, uh, practice deep breathing. Try to relax into it. And every time you breathe out, slowly you go a little deeper. If it's uncomfortable, that's normal but it shouldn't hurt. If it hurts, then you stop. And then you go into the middle splits. So if you're comfortable jumping straight into the middle splits, you do like Master Mari. And if not, you do like I'm showing. So it's basically a white squat or white horse stance. And while, while being in the world, while, uh, uh, while being in the white horse stance, you try to push your butt to get as low as possible. And then over time, you also spread your feet further apart, like I just showed. And you keep pressing down, pressing down to get lower and keep spreading your feet on the sides and you can do like I'm showing go a little from side to side to help your body relax and we finish with a balancing exercise this time you stand on one leg and you extend the other one forward and straight uh, and you hold it with one arm I like the other balancing exercises we've done, it's quite hard, so don't worry if you can't do it right away, uh, you just have to practice. And we're also doing 20 seconds per second. Okay, switch side and start. And that's it, you can keep practicing, then go into Kung Fu.